Hi everyone, this is Austin with Sun Fun Kits. So today we'd like to go over um, the secondary heating option that's going to be available for the version 3.5 kit. Uh, you guys are familiar with our regular one which has the heating pads on the sides, um, but for 3.5 you'll actually have more than one option. Um, one of the requ most requested features was being able to add vertical heating pads so that they're between the cells. So we're going to go over uh, those. Now these will be available in two ways. One will be without adhesive, which works. And another one will be with adhesive where the backside will actually have an adhesive layer that you can use to uh, attach onto there. Um, either method works. Uh, just be aware, if your cells are used or bloated, you will, should not use this method. You should use the method with uh, the heating pads that are already on the side. So we're going to go over how to basically uh, install this. So we already have one cell in place and these are our 280N cells. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. And you're going to want to align this so that it comes up to the top side. Okay. So we'll go ahead and set this up and then we'll, we'll slowly go one cell at a time. Okay. So we added the second cell and it's just sort of clamped in place. And the important thing is to make sure that the top is lined up uh, with the with the with the with the cell and so that it, it comes out even so then we're going to just go one by one and start adding the remaining cells all right so the third cell is in now we're going to install the fourth cell so the fourth cell we're actually going to heat keep the heating pad in in our place as we position it in and basically we're just going to have to kind of keep it to where it's lined up to the top as we insert it and after that is done, we'll then install the shim in the middle. All right, so as you can see, I'm working it in, just trying to keep this uh, level. So you want to keep this uh, level as it goes in, and once it's in place, we'll. Uh, you might need to move the cell in and out to get it just right, but once it's in, we'll install the, the middle sh uh, shim um, after this is in. All right, so now you can see that one is in as well so we've got the negative positive negative positive and two in the middle but now there's nothing in here so that's where the shim will come in normally you'll use the 1.5 millimeter if you've got certified cells from us or brand new cells this will provide the perfect spacing and you're just going to work that way uh, that one in here if your cells are a little bloated then you'd want to use the one millimeter if you're having difficulty with just this portion, then you should not be using the vertical cell heaters. Instead, you should be using the version with the cell heaters on the side. So we're actually going to go ahead and install the 1.5 millimeter because this will provide a nice tight fit. They're pretty snug right now, but this is just going to give that extra bit of sort of squishing effect so that when it does go in, it'll be very tight and you'll have a nice setup and nice fit. So you can see I just sort of worked it in place, got it in there, and I'm just gonna wedge it in and just sort of work my way in so that it uh, goes in all the way. Okay, yeah, so now we have heating pad here, which will heat these two cells, cell separator in the middle, heating pad here that will heat these two cells. And these heating pads are about the same width as the 1.5 millimeter. So it's almost the same as having two, uh, as having three 1.5 millimeter spacers. So with that in the place, we can now put our top plate. And again, if you did have a problem, you could always go down to the one millimeter. This is gonna be a little harder to work in, but should still slide in, in the middle. So we'll put the top plate on next. So as you can see, the version 3.5 had these slots in here. And what that basically allows us to do is have that spacing to come up where these can come up. And you'll want them so that you can bend them on this side. So the meat side should be here and that side be here. So this is basically how you're going to then route, uh, route the, the heating elements. So by doing that, you basically are going to have very good heat contact with the cells. It's a little harder to install than our regular heating pads, but this is probably gonna provide superior heating to the cells. Just be aware, 
the BMS is going to take longer to trigger because it's as it heats up, it's going to slowly radiate up to uh, the BMS. So uh, in terms of overall heating, it's not as uh, not as effective as the heating pads that are on the sides, but it's probably better overall because the cells are getting direct contact and one heating pad is able to heat both cells. Okay. So we also want to maybe discuss another thing that people have said. One of the questions people have said, you know, this is, if I make a mistake, it's really hard to get my cells out. And we're going to start uh, uh, offering these. These are what we call the, the cell pullers. So what this basically is, is that they're, they're going to be matched to different cells. So if you have a situation where, let's say, you had the orientation wrong, you're like, oh my goodness, what do I do now? It's very hard to get out. Um, in fact, Andy from Off Grid Garage Comments says, you will never be able to get them out. Well, that's not quite true. Um, we're going to show you how you can with, uh, with these. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt these down. And we're going to use our impact drive at a low setting to sort of secure it. Okay. With that in place, we can then now pull out the cell using, you know, just two fingers. And I'll slowly show you, uh, uh, I'll show, uh, uh, show you pulling it out. And then this will sort of give you an idea what you can use uh, to, you know, to pull out the cell if you do get in a situation where you can't get it out easily. And again, we'll have it for different sizes. So this is a 280N. There'll be one for 280K or the 304. And if you have another cell with different spacing, let us know. But the most common we find is 90 millimeter spacing between the terminals as well as uh, 120 millimeters. So those are the two that we'll, we're going to do. So I'm going to start pulling this out and kind of show you how this works. Maybe I can record and pull at the same time. Ideally, you'd want to put the camera down, but... Yeah, let me just put the camera down to kind of... You can start, kind of see I've already started pulling out, but I'll show you it uh, further up. So you see now I'm able to start pulling it out. You'll just have to put one hand here and two fingers here and pull it out. And that's going to allow you to, uh, to lift, out, um, lift out the cell. So these will be available... They're not going to be expensive, maybe two or three bucks at the most. They're 100% infill printed, so they're uh, as strong as an ABS injection molded thing. And yeah, just uh, more than likely we'll just include it in, in your kit if you have a situation. But this is going to make pulling your cell a lot easier. Uh, another thing that, you can, that you'll appreciate is the, the overall design of this makes it super tight, super compact so that the main thing is your cells are going to stay in place. Anyway, um, the heating pads will also be available by themselves. If you want to have your own DIY project, you can use it. Just be aware, they are only going to be 12 volts, and each of them will use about 55 watts. So uh, if you've got two of them, you're going to be using 110 watts. So make sure if your BMS can support this. If you can't, you'll want to use a thermal switch. And uh, these will also be available uh, in, in a two-pack or a four-pack. Uh, just they are 12 volts, so that's the only thing that you'll have to worry about. But they're sized perfectly for the 280Ns, LF280Ks, uh, 304s, Cadel 302s. Basically, the three, 270 to 300 amp hour class of lithium iron uh, phosphate prismatic cells. And they're high quality rubber, so they should last, you know, outlast the life of your cell. Okay, thank you.